Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I introduce you to one of my application which I developed uh, previously one year ago when I get started with Android Kotlin, right? So this was my first project of Android Kotlin. So today I'm going to introduce you to this application as well as I will provide you I will provide you the whole source code of this application uh, through my GitHub link, which will be in description, right? So basically, I'm doing two applications. One is admin application, other is user application. So first, let's uh, check out the Android, uh, admin application. So this application is known as a uh, smart society application. So this is my slash slash screen of my application, and it is redirected to my home page. Let's log out the application. I'll show you how to log in. So this is our login screen. Just enter the credentials of admin and password basically basically for backend i had used firebase here for authentication as well as uh, cloud store database firestore so we had successfully logged into our application and this is our home home page here i am having this page viewer and uh, this is our home screen and this is my navigation menu here i am in some options so this is our home screen and uh, uh, this is our admin app i'll also show you my user application in another device just two, two. so this is our user application I will uh, log in or sign up to my user application using my phone number. So let's see our admin app. Here uh, you are having an option of user request. When you click, uh, click on this option, here you can see three page viewers. Uh, first one which requests are pending of user and second one is accepted, us accepted users which is validated by you and third one is rejected users for fake request. So let's, uh, let's uh, register our application. So let's type the mobile number and click on next and you will get an OTP through Firebase. Just wait for that OTP. It uh, detected the OTP autom uh, automatically and you had successfully registered using your mobile number. Just click continue and it will create your profile on Firebase. Now you need to enter your name and email address. And click on continue. Now you need to enter your details. Uh, basically this is smart society app, right? So each of the user has his own flat or uh, bungalow or row house in that uh, apartment, right? So you need to select your society. My society name is Smart Housing Society, and my building is I'm actually having row house, so I select row house, and uh, you need to select the row house number which row house you are having. Let's select it one, and I am the owner, owner, right? So add flat. Uh, allow for the permission device location now it will show you this type of uh, warning that your request has been sent to higher authorities within for 24 hours you your account will be verified uh, until your account has been verified you can't access the features uh, that uh, user app contains right you can access this uh, feature so just uh, for now just close this application and if you see uh, if you see our admin app here you are having pending request of row house that is one and that is my name Nilishak, my phone number and my email address. So this is a request which I uh, of my user account which I just registered. So I can accept or reject this request. If accepted, you can see my request in this list. If rejected, you can see in the rejected list. So let's accept our request. And if I accept, uh, it will show me alert that are you sure want to accept this request? Then click on yes. So my request has been accepted now. Uh, it may be seen this, uh, in this list. It could be available. Let's see at the bottom. Too many requests are coming. Let's go back to the 
Like, as you can see, my request has been accepted and this plan is accepted the request. Now let's go to home screen back and here I can open my app again. And now uh, I, uh, all the features of user application will be available to me. Should be. Should be. As you can see, uh, our application is now, uh, I had a successful login to my application and I can access all the features here. And as you can see, it, they are blank because I am not having any image here. I had just posted and text here, right? Uh, if I click on the picture which has image, as you can see image and with caption. So how this post has been done? So in admin app, uh, you have the user request that I have shown you and you have building notice. So from here, you can actually post any of the notice which you had to show to your building, uh, your users, right? So let's uh, update the building notice. Enter your notice here. Hello and uh, which uh, building of your apartment you need to show this notice let's show to row house and select the image from here Hello. let's make the image from gallery and i'm having this laptop image now i'll post this now i'll post this uh, my status notice to row house yes. And hopefully this notice will be available to my this account user account because I I am uh, currently and row house user right my I'm in row house so uh, this should be available and I got a notification like you can see here having a new building notice so let's go again here I am having a section that building notice when I click on this uh, I can see my uh, post that I did currently right. And if I click on this, it will be, uh, I can zoom the image and all this thing I can do. As well as I can download this image by click on this right uh, corner logo. If I click on this, the image should be downloaded. Right? And if I click on this in opening gallery, as you can see my image has been downloaded. So it can just downloading feature as well. Now let's click on this and go back. Now uh, I have completed with building notice. Now let's post a new. As well as you can see the same post here also. That building notice what post you had did. And this post I currently post on 8th of March on Sunday, <coughs> right? Uh, to the house. Now let's let's post a new society notice. Society notice. Let's type society notice and select. Uh, Image from gallery, any of the image, let's select this image and update. Now, uh, building notice are uh, available to particular society which you have to show, and society notice will be available uh, or displayed to all the society, uh, to all the buildings that are available within your apartment. So, I have posted this social notice successfully on 8th of March on Sunday with time. And if I go on user app, I go to society notice, as you can see. I have posted your society notice, right? So successfully completed. Now we are having more options of add new worker. Now let's add the worker for your society. Click the picture of worker. Enter the name of your worker. Let's start you. Uh, and the email address of your worker if he has that. Now Raju is cook, right? So select cook. Enter the phone number of uh, Raju. And what is date of joining the Raju joined your society? It's date of March. And uh, you need to write uh, type here the what type of uh, what specialty Raju has that what he cooks actually wage or non wage or whatever. Uh, so and add the worker. After this, uh, if you go to worker section, uh, this type of uh, UI view will get displayed. Uh, in cook section, you will display all the cooks that you are having. Uh, currency it is blank because it has not been updated. And if you go to drivers, also drivers, they are not having any driver. They are not any, having any security guards, right? 
uh, workers are we are not having currently any uh, on the toolbar at the right corner you are having a logo when you click on this logo uh, this uh, the screen will be displayed on your screen and uh, here is your information of your profile uh, i mean what your flat number and ring number and whatever mobile number and account verification status by clicking on this profile picture you can select the profile picture for your uh, account any of the image you can select from the gallery and uh, let's select this one now you can also add alternate mobile numbers for your account to get the messages or notifications now save As you can see your profile picture has been, profile has been successfully updated so if you go to your profile again as you can see you are having alternate mobile number with profile picture and everything has been changed now go back so our uh, worker has been successfully uh, uh, added as you can see your worker section uh, Raju has been added with his book and you can see you should see same in our users app uh, not on the yeah you can see on home page as well as if you go to worker section uh, in view books you can see Raji's book which is available here with all the information date of joining the date of march facility non wage and wage number as well as address email address uh, so as well as you got a notification that new worker has been added please check it out so in Sorry for this. So in same way, you can add multiple workers in multiple different sections. Uh, just by selecting your category, it will all the, uh, automatically added into different section. Just select your category. If you select your driver, <coughs> worker will be displayed in this section, right? So after workers, here we are having one more option, which is update payment details, right? So. Uh, you can update the payments of the uh, flat users. Uh, so let's update the payment. Uh, let's select row house and uh, you select the flat number. Which flat number's payment you have to do? Right. So my name is Nilesh Das and uh, my flat. So type your receipt number. Uh, let's type something. And how much amount I had paid for my maintenance? Uh, so my maintenance is ten thousand. With fine of 100 rupees. So let's select the month of which month uh, this uh, maintenance fee is. So it is of March month. Now add this tag. You can add multiple months here. Now let's update my maintenance. Now my maintenance payment has been successfully updated and I got a notification that your maintenance payment details has been updated. Let's check this maintenance. Uh, so here uh, in maintenance record I can check my maintenance so as you can see 135 is my hand 10,000 I had paid plus 100 rupees fine of March here uh, all the list of months you get uh, which maintenance you had paid with the amount and all the details as well as if I go here to maintenance record here also I can check out from admin app just I need to select the month of which month I need to select I need to check off which month who had paid and who has not paid. So let's see paid. And we will get the list of all the paid uh, flat users who paid the maintenance of March. Yes. Hmm. As you can see, here I got that row house one has paid 10,000 plus 100 rupees fine. Right? I have paid it two times. So, so this uh, is my application here. I have one more section of complaint. So here you can see the complaints of users that they had in their society. So let's go to complaints, click on the complaints and add new complaint. And from here you can post the complaint or the problems that you are having with in this uh, apartment, whatever problem. You can post this and uh, your admin will solve this problem for you. Uh, just write the caption whatever problem you are having. For example, I'm having a problem with uh, my neighbor. So just type here and click the picture if you want or not and just submit after submitting this complaint this complaint 
will be available to admin app in complaint section. As you can see, our complaint is here. Problem with neighbor posted on 8th of March 2020 on 12.30 p.m. Right? You can also just see this in same thing in complaint. Sorry for this alignment. Uh, I can solve it. And as you can see, this, it is still under process. So just click on the solve button to solve it if it has been solved by you. And if you refresh this page, as you can see, your complaint has been solved. As well as if you refresh from your user side, your complaint has been solved successfully. So this was the application which I built and the whole source code of this application is available on uh, github and links i will share you in description so right so some small features are this you can download admin aside you can download this same post by just clicking on this right corner uh, logo of downloading and it will be downloaded successfully and saved to gallery as well as this dustbin picture uh, this dustbin logo you can click on this and you can delete this post the post has been successfully deleted as you can see we are having no post at that side right uh, here we are having a small logo of profile at the right corner if you click on this you will get the all the flag uh, owners or all the user accounts that are currently registered on this application you can search them by uh, flat number as you can see low house one million stuff if you click on this you will get the all the details of that that particular user Right, and you are having swipe, swipe to call button here. If you swipe this, the call call will uh, it automatically call will be placed to that user. Currently, I am not having SIM card, so it is not placing the call. But you can test the same thing from our user app. Right, so here in worker section, if you select any one of any of the worker and if you click on this call icon, it will call the call will be directly placed to that particular worker. Right? As you can see, our call has been placed to that worker's mobile number. This is a mobile number which we enter while uh, adding the worker to our application, right? Let's close this. And so this was the application. Hope you like this application and uh, please don't forget if you like this application don't forget to give stars on github repo which link i had been given to my description right so thanks for watching